Hi everyone, welcome to our latest sales highlight video showing you some of the good things or well just bits and bobs of, of um, stuff that's going out uh, this week. So I'm in the barn, uh, new location and I will kick off with these gloves. We've had these since last winter and we lowered, no we hired, we upped the price after winter um, so we can save, save them um, for this winter. They cost £2.82, sold them for £14.99. We also sold this Rohan Micro Rib Stowaway Jacket Fleece. This one cost £4 and it sold for £24.99. So that was a charity shop pickup, really happy with that. This is a very quick sale, Sea Salt Romance Top. I know it's called the Romance Top because it says it on the label, on like the care label. This one, £4, sold for £20. This is another, well that, that um, seesaw only listed this month, the same with this um, mint velvet sequin top, uh, this cost £5.99, sold for £22.99, this was also on the Facebook page but it sold on, it, on eBay, and this jumper, this is mint velvet as well, this was again listed this month, this cost, I had loads of interest in, the, in this, this, is, uh, this was £5.95, sold for £21.99, and also listed this month is this Joe Brown's cardigan. Um, I don't always pick up all Joe Brown's, but I just this one looks quite nice. It costs six pound fifty, sold for twenty four ninety nine. We've also got a Clinique lipstick. Haven't shown you one of these for a little while. Um, I think we've got two things left now, and we're very close to seven hundred pounds worth of sales on the Clinique that cost me twenty five pounds. Um, so very very happy with that. Um, this cost 54p and it sold for 9.99. It's going abroad GSP. This was a bit of a bad buy of Simon's. We both make them, so I'm not pointing the finger. It's a uh, is it Franklin Mint. It's like a music box. Um, makes a noise. It'll, it's been making a noise for the last hour whenever anyone walks past it, and now I want it to make a noise. It won't. This is a Enesco the Franklin County General Store Deluxe Action Musical Box. Fully working. He paid 30 and it sold for 30. We, he's had it since April. So not a great buy, uh, which is a shame, uh, but never mind. Uh, these things happen. We also sold two rolls of wallpaper. These were in an auction bundle. One's sealed, one's sealed, but it's coming off, so I declared that. They are, what's it saying about those? I can't remember anything about them. It's a leaf print, I know that. Uh, a Street Print Solstice Palm Leaf Wallpaper, two rolls, um, sold for 27 99 cost me a couple of quid. And then we had another Etsy sale, which we're really happy about. It's these Ross candles. So they're Christmas, there's like reindeer and polar bears, randomly. They cost, I think, like a pound, and they sold for fourteen ninety nine. And I think we that was on Etsy. We also had them listed on eBay at nine ninety nine, and they sold on Etsy at fourteen. So really happy with that. We sold this Downton Abbey. Uh, it's one to four. They picked it up very recently. It's in a recent haul video. Uh, wasn't so sure about it at first because it's only one to four. I have no idea how many seasons there are, but I know there's more than four. Um, but yeah, I think we paid £3 and that sold seller fulfilled on Amazon. Couldn't send it into FBA, uh, Amazon were rejecting it. Uh, sold for 14 plus posts, about £18. Hi everyone, just going to show you what's going out uh, that we sold on auction. We ran, I think it was 120 auctions, 99p, no reserve, plus post. We sold 13 items. If you follow us on Instagram, we run a little fun competition on a Sunday night. How many will sell and the winner wins something unsold. So we've got a few actually to dig out from last week and this week, so they will be on their way. The reason we do auction clearances purely to get rid of older stock, stuff that we've sourced from auctions, it's been in auction bags and it's time to, uh, to get rid of. You know, a lot of this stuff, when we buy it in an auction bag and it comes with loads of other stuff, we don't know what it is. We might not even know literally what it is when we unpack it. We find out. No idea if there's a market for it. Obviously, we check sales and everything. Pop stuff on. Uh, I mean, there's no reason necessarily why some of this wouldn't have sold, but it didn't. So it's time to clear it all through. 
Everything here, all 13 items went for 99 pence. Now we understand that we've made a loss on those items. Uh, obviously the buyer has paid for postage, uh, but that's fine. You know, this, our channel is about being real in reselling. So although we're not showing everything that we sold now that we were up to a couple of weeks back, we are not hiding the sort of the rubbish stuff. Uh, so I'm just going to run through it all really quickly. Take that CD, take that, the, I don't know, 2003, 2015 edition, sold for 99p, a holiday romance Collier swimsuit in, in that bag, uh, black swimsuit, a super, super soft pink and grey scarf, some I love beer socks in Italian, uh, I couldn't even tell you what that is. Some sort of fuse, Kenrad. No idea what that is. Uh, a like brandy balloon. It's gonna be fun packing that. A like a it's just a snood, draw, drawstring snood. That's uh, pencil pleat curtain tape. Faye knows what that is. I have no idea. Something for a curtain, I'm guessing. Uh, F and F pink sparkle scarf. A baseball bat, uh, no, it's a baseball cap uh, with a logo on it. This is nine. Some Jones the Bootmaker little, maybe kitten heels, little ones. Um, and then a set of four mugs. I think these must have been, so they're common wear, there's some company, I guess, like merch um, and some fabric, VIP gold cap and wheel. Fabric, all sold for 99p plus post. Got this Escalado game, this is from Chad Valley. Uh, it cost me four pounds a couple of weeks back uh, from a charity shop. It was on at 49.99. The customer used the 15% off coupon, paid 42.49. And they sniped these mint velvet jeans from Vinted. She then flipped them on the mint velvet Facebook page sold them for 29 so there's a good sort of 18 17 18 pound profit there had a great personal sale today these levi's 311s 39.99 plus post uh it's going in my pot for buying something new um not that i really need a pot <laughs> Um, this Fenwright Manson jumper is small, grey, it's like a sleeveless jumper, like a tank top. Got that on my Epic haul the other week and it's 5% cashmere blend. Cost £6, sold for £31.99. Along with these Brora trousers, I'm pretty sure I got those at the same time. Uh, these were £4.99, like sort of jumbo cords, wide leg. These are sold for £35. And this toast dress, I was hoping for a lot more for this. This was £6.50, also got this on the same trip. Uh, ended up selling it for £50. Uh, could have probably got more, but I'm just, sales are really quiet at the moment. So, um, still profit, which is really good. Uh, Simon picked these Lefe glasses up, uh, beer glasses, and they cost £4 and sold for £16.95. And then this one, this is great. These are Think, they Thinking Guide, Thinker's Guide Library. There's a whole load of books here. I think they're different ones. Basically, in an auction uh, a few months ago, I bought a load of books for about 20 odd quid and they were all sort of um, educational books. Can't believe that I got them for what I did because well, books go for a lot of money at the auctions, um, especially educational books. And these, someone bought one or two, then messaged us and said, have you got any more? Simon sent them a list of what we got. I made a um, bulk listing. So they wanted them all and they paid 125 quid for these. And they were literally, I don't know if he's put a cost price in, pence each so 125 quid there super happy with those we have some paperweights now one sold on ebay and two sold on etsy so we're really pleased with how etsy's going i uh, haven't really put that much effort in so it's, that's all good uh, we've got this art glass paperweight it's unbranded but it's very pretty look at that beautiful color 
uh, paid £2.87, sold for £13 and a penny. This one was about the same cost price. This sold on Etsy. This uh, sold for £14.99. It's got polar bears in there. And this one also sold for £14.99. It's unbranded again. It's gold and turquoise flower. So very happy with those two. We've got, I think I listed this yesterday or the day before. It's a Marks and Spencer's uh, Woman a Pure Cashmere Jumper, sold for £26.25. Paid £4.45 for that last week. And we have two of these glasses. There we go. Madri or Madri Exceptional El Alma de Madrid. They're beer glasses. They were, I think, 50p each. Simon got them from a pub that was closing down. Yeah, 50p each, they sold for 14 99 He also picked up this Playmobil train set recently. It's um, the 123 series, my take along train set. And it's got the trains, it's got the track and everything in there. We were actually missing a piece of track um, and I put on Instagram that uh, has anyone got a, a piece of this track? It was a curved one in grey, I put the picture up and um, Lee came forward um, and sent it to us for free, which is very nice of him. Um, so thank you if you're watching this Lee, I don't know if you watch or not. This sold nothing special, it's like a florist's um, it's like tin vase. Uh, it's brand new with tags, cost £3.25, it was just in an auction job lot and that sold for £12.50. A cheapo DVD that Simon paid 9p for, sold for £2.49, that's Carry On Constable from The Sun. Um, so that's good. This sold on our personal eBay. It's a 100% silk slip pillowcase. That sold for $54.99 plus post, I think. Uh, this old Monopoly. See these wherever you go. This one cost £3, sold for £17. And then these jigsaws. So we have two jigsaws here. They had been counted, but the um figures we couldn't get we couldn't figure out if they were complete or not i know we know that a thousand piece puzzles often have more than a thousand pieces but i think one was coming up at nine nine something and the other one at a thousand or something just couldn't make it work so rather than count them again and waste time we listed them as a bundle together they're memories of the 40s and memories of the 60s and they sold for eight pound 39 plus 5.99 postage so that's perfectly fine the cost price was 10.66 but it doesn't matter and just to show you there's no highlight reel here uh we sold this material i'm so i'm calling it material minerva luxury crepe fabric um we sold it for 5.99 now i've just picked it it's quite heavy I'm a little worried that it's going to be too heavy for Royal Mail Second Class, moving it into the courier bracket, uh, which for us will mean a loss. Uh, poetry top then. This one, light blue, long sleeve, size 12. Uh, this sold for 18.49. Got two more of the Madri. Uh, glasses they look smeared it's just because of the temperature in here they've sort of condensated uh, so those for 14.99 little trivial pursuit pieces so if there's any pieces for anything that you need at all uh, we give them away to resellers we don't sell them we even pay postage so there's a, if there's any bits and bobs you need because I need to clear space um, please just let us know message us over on Instagram and we'll see what we can do uh, and finally for the week, the last thing that we've got to show you is another Clinique. It's Butter Shine lipstick. Um, she sold it for $12.99. One thing left out of her bundle. Uh, I'm trying to convince her to give away the last thing. So let us know in the comments if you think that's a good idea. Uh, we could do a giveaway here. Uh, so that is the second to last thing. She's so close to £700 now. Uh, absolutely fantastic anyway thanks for watching uh, tune in for our haul videos which are also following this up coming very soon if you're new to the channel thanks for coming along cheers have a good weekend bye for now